Okay guys, on the bench this morning, I have a Luxman. Luxman R800U. I just, I absolutely love Luxman. This was for sale in my town. And uh, of course, I wasn't able to say no to it, so I grabbed it. Now it's on my bench. There is, he, he's telling me that it's, everything is working great, but I found some issues. The base button is really, really loose. I'm, I'm kind of hoping the pot is not ruined on the inside. I mean, it's just a loose pot, and, uh, but it does light up. He's telling me that it's working completely and it's got a beautiful sound. And of course, the Luxman do have beautiful sounds. And uh, I wasn't able to pass this on. So I grabbed it and now I'm going to do a service on this and we're going to do it together. So I'm going to put this on through the dim bulb to see if this is actually uh, drawing any power to this. And no, perfect. I'm going to hook up some speakers to this. I'm not so sure if I can use those. Well, there now, we're running to an issue already. This, check this one. It's too bad. Well, maybe I can hook up the B speakers to them. We'll see what kind of sound I get. The power of this. Okay, so everything is working. There is some issues with it though. I, was, I wasn't able to use the A speaker, so I had to use the B speaker, but there's actually A, B, and C. Uh, check out this, this is really loose. This is bent. So there is quite a bit of work to do with this, but all in all, it's doable. The finishing part of it is really nice. Might have to do a little bit of touching here and there. But uh, so there it is. The Luxman R800 is on the bench and we're going to open this up and we're going to do that right now. I don't think these are the original screws. sure if I could just take this out of there. Yeah. There it is. I'll bring you guys closer on this Luxman. Uh, there it is. Oh, this is the button that I'm talking about. This is really loose. Uh, this one here is bent, almost touching the front plate. I could hook up three sets of speakers. I have A, B, and C. Yeah, and I can also, here's my volume for my PA system. And this is what the inside looks like. The uh, 
this is my power this is my power amp board here this would be the right and this is the left they're identical I don't think that this receiver has been worked on before look out the soldering on this eh? these Luxmans I'm telling you man they are something else just beautiful I'll go down from this it kind of looks like they've changed the lamps on this but I'm pretty sure there's some lamps missing as well that's my outputs right down there pretty crummy there's one thing about the Luxman they're well made but the schematic is is awful they do not give you a schematic for this uh, I'm not sure about this particular unit but uh, I know the units that I've worked on before are really hard to get schematic for these but but all in all this uh, this is going to be really fun to work on I'm going to be having a lot of fun with this okay these are nice, eh? Nice and bright. Oh, and here's my the issue that I'm having with the A speaker terminals. This is really low, so I'm going to have to change those. Okay. I'll put you back on the stand. Check out the bottom. I'm going to take that off. last row. The soldering on the Luxman is out of this world. Check out these circuit boards. Everything is so well put together. It's gonna be a fun project. Anyways guys, um, today is Sunday and I told uh, my wife that I would only be here a couple of hours we're gonna end today and we'll catch you back on my return on the bench okay okay in this section of the video I want to tackle the um, speaker terminal a right here these ones are really nice and solid but these ones are awful like this this actually came off so um, I need to uh, take this out of there and see if this is something that I can repair or actually maybe just replace I'm not sure I'm just gonna try to pull it out of there enough so I can work on this this is just loose in the back probably so that would be great if that was just the case room to work at and these are the screws here that I need to tighten a little bit I'll zoom that in and that screw there is really loose and these ones are just the same yeah these are all these are all loose uh, 
Phillips screwdriver for this. I think I'm going to take this one off completely. I wanted to show you where I was at with the speaker A terminals. I looked at it and uh, these, these terminals here is pressed in inside here and this was loose and I wasn't able to repair this at all. I could have used another route but I didn't want to. I wanted to keep everything original. So I went on eBay and this guy miraculously had one of those for sale. So I ordered it on eBay. It was a, a fairly decent price. Well, I paid, I don't know, I think I probably paid $25 or $30 for this, this whole section here. But to me, it was worth it. I want it back to original. That's what I did. I ordered a new speaker terminal uh, for the Luxman. And I'm pretty happy with it. I reinstalled it. Everything is solid. Look at this now, eh? Just like the other ones. Okay, so I'm saying thumbs up for this. I'm excited about this. Okay, so I'm going to continue on. So my next step is I'm going to be attacking uh, the power amp boards. Uh, they're very easy access. You just flip it around. There's two screws holding these together in the back here. And I'm going to take them apart. You, you guys can see that. I'm going to show you that on the video. All right, so that's my next step. We'll do the power amp board. And there it is. This is really crummy. Like right here. Look at this. This is broken right off. Just by touching it. I want you guys to see this. I just touched it to clean it and it broke right off. So this is pretty near rusted out, eh? So, and this is where the black stuff was around. Uh, check out this dark tire on this as well. Part of the capacitor that's leaking out, or was it just glue that they put on that? But all I know, it was rusting all these components. So, we're up to the rescue. I'm not sure if this diode is good, but I'm hoping it is. These are really hard to get by, uh, these diodes. You can replace them now. But uh, anyways. And again, I'm going to change all these capacitors. There's really not that many. And uh, I'll have to retouch this diode. I'll take these out. aside and this is the board we're gonna get to work with us replace these ones as well every single one of them okay now one more to do and it's this one right here we're gonna change that There, it fell in my hand. There it is. We'll clean that out a little bit here. 
and there's my plus Go through these holes and there it is there this whole board is done so all I need to do now is solder this together and uh, we're good to go all right I'll put you on pause There. That's done. Again, I just want to see what those lamps are going to look like. Look at that, eh? That neat. Love it. That's going to look really nice. Now, you guys know that I've changed uh, all the capacitors on these power amps on uh, both left and right channel. I've changed the lamps here. There was only one of them that was working the other ones weren't and uh, I did check all the capacitors on every single board and it's bang on I didn't have to change any of them I have uh, actually sprayed some contact cleaner and all these switches as well I'm ready to power this on to see under protection again I just want to see what those lamps are going to look like out power on check out my lamps and uh, it just looks perfect these were changed uh, the LEDs that are in here there was five of them all together and uh, check out the quality of this Luxman and these were my power amp board right here. This is the left and the right. Change all these capacitors on them, every single one of them, even though the receiver was working great. This capacitor is 100% no good. You can't even register it because this thing is open. And it's a 47 microfarad at 50 volts. And I'll try the, uh, the next one. It's reading it at open circuit. So the 47s were birds on the power amp boards. And you would have never known that if I didn't check these boards. And this could actually, you know, affect the sound of the outputs. Like I did try the sound on this, and it sounded really nice. But this, this was obviously not working on the power amp board. So I'm pretty excited that I did change them, and I changed them with some good capacitors as well. There they are. So both of them are, all these capacitors are brand new. And it's also, this is going to sound a lot better, you know, once we plug this in. Anyways, uh, just wanted to show you that. Is that uh, there's the Luxman. I'm ready to uh, power this on, which I already did. We're going to hook this up through my, my speakers and my scope, and we'll see how much power I have with this. But first, I want to check the bias on this Marantz 
and the bias will be set through the emitter resistors right here. Let's try this. This would be the left channel. Uh, make sure that everything is off here. I am going kind of back and forth, eh? Between two and... I'm not sure if I like that too much, but... Not too sure if... Uh... Oh, okay. I'm steady at 1.9. And I'm supposed to bring this to 10. So 10 millivolts it is. Ten point three. What do you guys think? I hope you guys were able to see this thing. Yeah. So the left channel is at ten. Ten point seven now. Maybe I'll I'll kick this back. You don't have to touch it much. Ten point one. Okay, that's good. Let's try the right channel. The right channel is shut right off. Let's bring this to 10. happy with that so this would be right channel left channel is set to the same let's see if I have any DC voltage on this and turn this around hook this up on my speaker terminals see what I've got five millivolts that's perfect Let's try the other one. Zero point one point five. Yeah, DC voltage is great on this. Don't even have to touch it. Right on. So okay, so I'll back this up. And uh, what we're gonna do is sound test on this. Okay. I'll hook up a frequency. Okay, so we'll put this to auxiliary. And there it is, guys. I'll mute this. If you don't want to hear this, and I'll throw in your my 8 ohm load on this. And check out the scope. Uh, 20. I don't know if you guys can see this. I'll bring you closer. I have distortion at 20.4. So I'll kick this back a bit to get a perfect wave and it's at 20. 20 RMS. Okay. Okay guys, this wraps it up for this Luxman R800. I hope you enjoy the video. I certainly enjoyed it as well. And uh, I can't wait to listen to some tunes with this. But anyway, if you like the video, thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it.